Welcome back to Breaking Borderlands. I know at the end of our last episode I had said that we were probably going to go to the slaughter shaft and show off the schluter there uh, with our setup. But I've forgotten that there's a key piece to it that we need to go farm first. So for all of us designer cut or director cut members, we're going to start on the mysterious slur chain. But we're really just starting it. Um... Uh, the main reason being is because you just need to get to this first mission to find the uh, enemy to farm. But I've also taken the liberty to go into my uh, my bank to grab a few options of world drops that are worth it with our anointment. As well as grab a specific setup that can drop that is uh, increasing the power of our setup. So, for one, I had a leech with our anointment. Um, so I went ahead and grabbed that because I showed in the last episode how you can use its taser to start rolling the dynamo for firing off the scourge with rapid fire. But if you fire off a few missiles and then switch to an Unforgiven, which you can see it has 340% critical hit damage, um, that will apply to the missiles that are flying out and give them even more damage but we are going to go try and find ourselves a, a specific shield now I made a mistake before doing this of spending all my iridium to try and farm anointments on some guns and it did not pan out so now we're going to get a shield that we're going to be farming an anointment on but, uh, yeah, that's, that's not as easy as it sounds. We're going to have to farm up the Iridium. So, first things first, we need to go to Eschaton Row, which means we need to go to Promethea. Because this whole mission chain will send us uh, all over Promethea. Well, not all over, but into a new area in Promethea, a new area in Eden 6, and then a new area on Pandora and Necrotefeo. So we're going to the first new unique area here on Promethea. Oh, please forgive me if I'm coughing, wheezing, and sniveling. I, I have a cold today. Uh, yeah, so... I apologize up front. Also, if my voice is a little more graining or deeper or whatever, that's why. <clears throat> now, I will give a disclaimer that the shield we're going for is not the best shield for the setup but with the right anointment this shield can actually make any build even better so that's another reason that we're going to farm it because if you're not following my build um if you're doing your own thing this is still a really good sh it's the best shield in the game honestly offensively let's put it that way it's the best shield in the game offensively and i mean after all who doesn't want to be able to be more efficient killer in a game like this? So we're going to come down here to where we've, uh... Where we met Zero the first time. But you're going to run past it. And head over here instead. But, real quick, I'm going to illustrate if you, you know, put out your taser. To start rolling in for rockets. But now you see... How much more damage these rockets can crit. That one just critted for a million. Ow! But, again, leech. A little bit of survivability added. And I didn't even turn on the gamma damage for any of this. So, you turn on the gamma damage now, that one million is two million. So, that's the whole critical swap, you know, on a slow-moving projectile. It's rather devastating. Yeah. Not to mention it also gives you time to uh, 
let your taser respawn. There was a 9 million crit, there was an 18 million crit. So, super cheap, quick and easy. Not really necessary because you can, you know, throw out so many rockets. But, yeah, that's the idea with that. Oh, excuse me. Now, another thing that you can do um, that I myself have personally done on several occasions is stack a bunch of rocket launchers together so throw out your taser to start that rolling. I like to open with a scourge if I can, but throw out a scourge and then throw out a plague bearer. If you do it the other way around, the plague, fair, the plague bearer's projectile is slow moving and the scourge is faster moving. So the Scourge will actually catch up to the Plague Bearer and stack the damages too. But having the Scourge open up the first wave and then the Plague Bearer in the next one. But I would have it set up, uh, have your first one do electricity, your next one do uh, corrosive, and then have your last one do fire. If you set it up that way, most things are just going to perish in the bombardment. Because you've gotten through their shields, you've gotten through their armor, and then their health. So, now we're just going to follow this little noir scene, become a detective for a minute, or uh, detective work right now at this point, but, you know. Yep. So go ahead and loot around because you can't go past her until she's done talking. Did not mean to do that. Alright. So now you can move ahead. Someone he trusted. Just a murder, nothing paranormal. Perhaps a be untrained eye. Crime scene's in here. Alright, so now when you're in the crime scene, you're gonna start looking for uh, clues. First clue is, well, he did. Um, just go around anything that sparkles, but the. The door lock is important. The meal for one on the counter is important. And then his computer are the main focal points you're going to want to look into. Um, if you want to wait, if you've got your, sh your Schluter on, you can wait to open these because there are enemies out the window. They just won't spawn. Oh, they will spawn. Now again, if you want to, you could easily do infinite tasers, but you can see how that's just not effective. Oh, well, maybe if we turn on the gamma burst damage, but you can turn that on for the Schluter and then maybe have a better chance at drops here, but that's a maybe. Only Red Chester guaranteed to give you a uh, legendary on a Schluter enhancement. So now it was a person was So anyway, um yeah, now we got to talk to witnesses. Check out that back alley. Find out if anyone saw anything. Oop, sorry. That was unintentional. Are you okay? Actually, how do you How are you? Anyway, Alright, and then witness number two. This is a supernatural murder for sure. Alright, so Taser, Rocket, Critical, everything dies. Um another thing that you can do is use the Guardian Angel. Um if you're on which vault card is it? I wanna say that that's the Fallen Heroes. The Guardian Angel shotgun works kind of the same way, uh, just not off of criticals. So the farther away something is from you causing damage, the more damage it'll do. So that includes grenades, um, say you put down a spark plug, something like that. So as the missile flies away from you, the more damage it'll pick up. 
but I just prefer rocking the criticals because we're already rocking the chance for criticals. But the Guardian Angels guarantee damage at a farther distance. And then I blew up my mate. That figures. Alright, buddy. Come on. Up so daisy. I sorry I blew you up. Follow that clue. Alright, so we're gonna speed run to the clue. Alright. So now we have a clue here. Give it to Lorelei. I just wanted to open that while the Schluter was active, just in case. Oh, excuse me. I am so sorry for my sniffles. Rising to thwart justice. Alright, so now... There's a few enemies you can take out if you want to. Incredibly easy with our strategy just because, you know, throw that out. Go ahead, give yourself some damage buff. Rocket. And then let the rocket take care of anything it gets close to. That figures. But the one reason that this is best to do with the rapid fire is because, again, it keeps that Schluter active. And you're getting a um, mad overkill damage if you've gotten your Guardian ranks turned on. And the overkill damage is one of the things that really in, uh, keeps things going in that sense. So now you see the Schluter is activated. Sadly, it seems everything had perished beforehand. But I'm just going to go ahead and uh, run through for time's sake. Because there are quite a bit of enemies here. And we have to clear the slums. So, I don't know if everybody back there needs to be cleared, actually, if that's part of clearing the slums. So we might as well, right? And again, even though you do get more damage from standing still, you get damage reduction and health back from not. So... And it's, it's only 20%, but it's still obvious that it helps. It really does. So. And again, disclaimer being that you have to crit for the damage buff to work. So it just makes more sense to throw out more guaranteed damage. Now the one major downside to this is if you have somebody coming in for a melee attack, your rockets will come straight back at you and blow you up. That can happen. There we go, and there's some Schluter business going on, right? So now, if you ever run to where your magazine's empty, not refilling, throw out a taser. And just let those crits work for you. Well, that's sweet, Lorelai. You didn't have to resurrect him. I would have just summoned him here in a second, which also gets him up. But you can see how the Schluter does... when, Especially when there's elite enemies, how it does some great... Increased drop chance. Now, though you... Most of these are terrible. Yep, most of these are terrible. 
that looks to be the only good one really is well I mean the painted power is not too bad but none of them have the anointment I'm looking for even if they did that's not the best option that is a terrible option uh, that's only good if you get the boom version of it because then everything's explosive but we're gonna continue to continue to hunt down our intended target now one of the reasons that I love this whole setup is because you can see how it's uh, powerful enough to take everything down with the Schluter equipped for uh... no puppy dog yeah it is it's good enough to take everything down with the Schluter equipped instead of needing an artifact to make the build work. I've seen a few builds where the artifact is like the key focal point. So, the fact this works pretty much as a Schluter build is fantastic for me. Excuse you, sir. That is not your water. That is your mama's. Your water's underground, mister. Sorry, if distracted, we've... Got a 12-week-old puppy, and he is being a bad boy. Come here, Moose. Come here. Come lay down. Come lay down and be a good boy. Why did Mama take off your leader? Oh, you get rambunctious without that leader on. All right. Now, it's best when using the leech, uh, pick an enemy you know it's not going to do much damage to. That way, it has its uh, longest effect. Let them hear your rage. Of course, you could do it to anybody, because it's not going to do that much damage. Even with the Gamma Burst active, having adding that radiation damage, it's not the best damage. But... Come on now. And that's another issue with this whole build. Very easy to blow yourself up. But this is the benefit to running the Schluter is chances at some good stuff. Uh, there's another enemy over there, so let's see if we can get him before we open this chest. There we go. I almost forgot to swap. Alright. Wagon wheel, which is not the best. But still an interesting gun. Believe it or not, the Hornet will do some great work. Especially with the right anointment. Alright, so now moving along. I'm going to rush past this little area. Um, just get used to that, because this spawn point... You're going to get very familiar with. Because our target is over here. And that would be Sumo. Now, if you can get it done right, you can actually hit that uh, barrel next to him and have him take a whole lot of damage from it. Now, we're going to distract him. When his shields leave, uh, he ends up raging out. So beware that that's going to be coming. Yep. Alright. Now, I doubt he dropped it. Nope. That is not at all what we want. Nope, that's it. Yeah, that's it. That is exactly what we wanted. The revolter. How about that? He dropped it on the first try. So... We're going to go ahead and take that. Um, we're not really getting the benefit of the anointment right now. But you see how on depleted becomes shock enraged? Yeah, I thought he dropped me a rectifier. That's the one I was thinking of. But now I don't need my stopgap anymore. So the shock enraged gives us 150% electrical damage while we're enraged and 15% fire rate. So, yeah, it is... Fantastic. We're also going to be um, trying to farm the anointment for it. That whenever an action skill starts, 
uh, it acts like it breaks. That way we get that shock and rage whenever we turn on uh, our gamma burst for our, our companion. So, ooh. Well, he tried to make it. So, when you activate your gamma burst, there, oh, thank Lady Fortuna. All right. So, it's not the mitosis hunter seeker that I would prefer to have, but it is a cloning hunter seeker. So, yeah, there's another chance for us to get. I mean, you're good, but you're not that good. That's another chance for us to get critical hits back to add um, ammo back into our magazine. So, yeah. That is actually really nice. I am glad Lady Fortuna smiled upon me. So, if you weren't as fortunate as me to get a revolter off the first drop, um, just uh, go ahead and once this mission is turned in, then you can uh, back out and reload. And then from that uh, spawn point that I pointed out, just run down the stairs and take out Sumo. Now, if you don't do it fast enough, you will be attacked by the mob I ran past. So beware of that. Um, if you're running the Schluter, it is possible but very difficult to get to that red chest while you have it active. Um, but yeah. Oh, look at that. He already decided to recharge himself. Alright, guy. You asked for this. Oh my goodness. It is just a mean combo to do that swap. Uh, but see, yes, I thought he dropped... Uh... Well, there's another revolter. How about that? He gave me two. Now the question is, which one's better? That's got recharge rate and max health. Movement speed while depleted and crouching gives you... No, I want it to break. I don't want it to be stronger. No, thank you. But yeah, that's how you get yourself a revolter. Um, I want to show it its damage potential off. So... First thing we're going to do is just charge in with no Gamma Burst active. And again, the Leech is not a good gun. You can see how it does minimal damage. Right? But hey, would you mind breaking my shield for me? Thank you. Now you can see the fire rate was increased and the damage has gone up. Not by much, not enough to really be super effective, but we can add that electrical damage while broken to our missiles. And then when we get the right anointment, that will act, making, yeah, doing that will make it act like we broke our shield, even though we didn't. So, yeah. So I'm gonna have to, uh, take some time, farm some iridium, and get the proper anointment on the shield. Unless, of course, I have one saved in my uh, my bank. I'll just grab it instead. Lead sprinkler, which is not so great. Negating sickle, but again, you want a boom sickle if hunting a sickle, just because it makes the uh, weapon so much improved. Like, it's crazy how much more damage it can put out. There's a companion. But yeah, I uh, hope you found the... Oop. Why well, the looter's still active? Come on. Nothing. But yeah, that's how you get your revolter. And um, trust me, it's going to highly improve the damage output. Um, still not the best shield for this setup. But I guess I'm going to have to show where you can get the best shield for, shield for this setup here in the next video. But I hope you found this informational and entertaining. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.